What's going on, everyone? <laughs> My name is Sherwin, and we are in the garage studios. And behind me, we have the plaid studios. Um, and I'm a little bit down and kind of upset because earlier today, uh, I ran over a pothole. Actually, it wasn't a pothole yet, um, but I think it was loose gravel or something. And when I ran over it, because I didn't see it in front of me, when I ran over it, I guess that the loose piece kicked up. Um, and at first I thought it hit the front tire um, and it only hit that area. And so I pulled over, raised the suspension up and um, just check underneath to see if there was any damage and nothing, everything was fine. Um, so we continued to drive and do about our day. It was like 1230 around lunchtime. Uh, and then we picked up the kids and we went to go out for lunch and uh, just drove around, hung out um, and went home around like 3 p.m. So driving around two and a half hours or so. Took a little bit of a nap and then we went to church and right before we left for church, the um, the Tesla app uh, gave me a notification that um, I have low PSI on one of the tires and I'm like, oh man, I think that did damage. So I went to the car and checked the TPMS because you can't check via app. Hopefully they'll uh, apply a new update for that, but um, I have to go into the app or in the inside the car and check the TPMS and it was the rear uh, driver side tire. And I was like, wait a minute, I thought it was the front tire that did it. And I double checked, I got my little uh, digital uh, tire pressure reader and lo and behold, it was down to 22 PSI. Um, normally these should be at like 44 to 45 PSI, I believe, at rest. Um, but yeah, it's, it's, it was down to 22 PSI. So in a span of probably, what, like four hours or so, um, it lost all that air. And so I was like, okay, it's not that bad. Um, you know, let me, let me pump it up before, before we went to church. I pumped it up to about, I think, 33 PSI. And uh, when we got back from church, uh, about an hour and a half, two hours later, I checked it again. So from 33 PSI, it was down to 12 PSI. So it's, it's pretty bad. It's, I thought it wasn't that bad, but I guess it's gotten worse maybe as I put more air into it. And now I've pumped it back up from 12 PSI to I think 40 PSI. And it's, it's still losing air. Um, so I think at a rate of about half a pound per five to 10 minutes. Um, I called up uh, Steven, AKA the Boring MX. So you've seen his Model X in some of my videos. Uh, a good friend of mine, um, he's gonna try to come by and um, check things out. Uh, he has a, a kit. I thought I was gonna be able to just leave it alone overnight um, and then possibly tomorrow morning um get it get it taken care of but um at this rate of losing air um I, I don't know so he's gonna come by he has a jack i think i have a jack but he has he has hockey pucks too um so we'll, we'll see he's gonna check it out we're gonna um um check it out and, and see hopefully he could fix it uh and then maybe um that'll that'll be it i don't know we'll see he's gonna check it out so waiting for him to come and um, you'll get to meet him in person. Uh, you've seen his car, but you, you'll see the person behind the steering wheel. Very cool guy. So um, let's, let's wait for him. So I got Steven right here, AKA the Boring MX. You know his car, but now you're seeing the dude behind the steering wheel. He has some bad news for me. So the damage is inside uh, sidewall, inside sidewall. Uh, so he's going to leave the jack with me tonight. Um, we're just going to jack it up a little bit, um, get some weight off of it and just put some air in there. And then tomorrow I'll probably just take a day off and uh, take care of it. I just don't like things pending, dude. You know me, man, 
So, but I thought he was going to bring his Model X <laughs> and uh, instead he brought the Rubicon and I was telling him I test drove the R1T recently and this is his Rubicon. Man, very nice, very nice. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Man. And so my neighbor also helped out with some tools and things. Um, but yeah, so bad news, but oh, well. It's, Stuff it's, happens. It's, uh, it's fixable. You know? It's fixable. That's what counts. Yeah. Yeah. It's not like the car is no longer <laughs> out working out of commission. Yeah. So he also is uh, starting a shop called The Boring, Auto. The Boring Auto. I'm gonna put the link in the description below. Check him out. He's been working on a bunch of Teslas and he has some content on there as well. So um, yeah, it's the next morning and we haven't lost any air. It was like 36 PSI since um, Steven came over last night to uh, jack it up and check the tire. But yeah, I called Tesla and they quoted me $450 per tire um, without tax. And then I messaged and asked, is that including like mounting and balancing and all that? And they haven't responded. So it's one of those frustrating things with Tesla service. Um, it's convenient that you could like send them messages but um it varies on how long they would respond but i also called america's tires and they quoted me i think 777 for a pair uh, mounted balance everything pretty much everything and it's the stock oem um cross something something cross contact i'll get you all the details um or i'll put it on the description and also um, on a lower third down below. Uh, I also called uh, or messaged Javier on Instagram, um, the shop that took care of my Model Y, um, but hasn't replied. And I um, suggested to Abby, we should take the Model X there, but she just likes America's tires and would rather pay more um, to go to America's tires. Um, so that's fine, it's fine. So I put post-it uh, notes to be like, hey, before you remove this, there's a jack stand under. Cause my, my brain, I don't know, I just have so many things in my head all the time. So, and I'm uh, gonna be going to America's tires this is that Ryobi uh, air compressor I mentioned in the 30,000 mile uh, Model Y review. Um, you should have an air compressor with you at all times, um, or at least handy, because uh, for stuff like this, for anything really, I will be bringing along my electric scooter while I wait for them to fix the tire. This is the Ace R450, just a disclaimer. Uh, it was sent out to me for free to review. Um, but this is not a sponsored video by them. Um, but yeah, so I also noticed there's jack mode and I forgot to enable it. I'm assuming that it detected the car like lifted up uh, higher than usual that it enabled it, hopefully, because I, I forgot, I forgot to uh, enable jack mode um, because the Model X uh, does come with uh, what is that called? Uh, the air suspension. And so when it detects unevenness, it's going to try to correct itself or try to like balance the car. So if you hop a curb, like one, one of the tires are on a curb, it's going to um, like balance the car when the car like goes to sleep or something. I'll put the, the text on the manual uh, from the Model X manual, but it's pretty interesting. Um, but yeah, I forgot to do it, but um, it's already raised up. So I assume that um, it enabled jack mode by default. So now the other tire is at 30 something PSI. It's lower, but I'm not sure if it's because there's a lot of weight on there right now and it offset it. But 
uh, we'll probably uh, pump that up as well um, but yeah so but yeah so we're gonna be removing that uh, and we're gonna be heading out to uh, America's tires and um, go from there I've taken a sick day today because I'm sick and tired of this rain and all the damn potholes <laughs> um, and once this is fixed, I'm going to go and check out that pothole so I can report it and hopefully get reimbursed. All right, so we are here at America's Tires. Um, I didn't lose any air when I pumped it up. It stayed at 47 PSI, so that might be a good thing. But regardless, the damage is in the sidewall and it's not going to be repairable, but they're going to double check everything. Um, they're going to also look at the suspension to see if there was any damage to it and anything around it. But I, I was losing air on the passenger side uh, rear, so they're going to check. But um, it's going to be about two hours. I got my scooter, so either I'm going to hang out, get some breakfast or go back home, get the other car and check on the uh, that pothole. But Abby sent me a picture of it and I'll post it up. <laughs> Okay, so I'm back at um, America's Tires. I spent some time over at Coffee Bean and um, just had some coffee, a bagel, and I posted some photos on Facebook to share with Facebook groups about the experience so far. Um, because for whatever reason, many Tesla owners think that you can't take your Tesla to other shops. Uh, especially for tires um, so they tend to go back to the Tesla dealership which is fine but you're gonna be spending a lot more money um, if you take it to the Tesla dealership but I've taken all of our Teslas here in America's tires um, including this one our plaid and um, the service here has been great the Model Y performance though when I uh, swapped out the wheels and tires I did take to a different shop because they were giving me a better uh, price over there, but Abby just prefers America's tires. Otherwise, uh, we would have gone there instead um, But yeah, so We're gonna be waiting They're I think almost done. So if you can see right behind me, they they have a, a couple jacks on there um, They don't need hockey pucks from what I saw underneath the car. There's actually little um, Areas to put the jack in um, But yeah, just remember to put it in jack mode um, because the car will try to auto balance itself. Um, so we're gonna keep waiting here and hopefully we're gonna be done soon and I'm gonna go check out that pothole. Okay, so we got out of here in about two and a half hours or so. Um, they did find a nail. They found a nail on the rear passenger side. So earlier I was saying that um, for whatever reason I'm losing PSI on the tire that wasn't really hit by the pothole um, and I thought it was because we put a lot of weight into it but apparently there was a nail there um, and so they they fixed it originally they they said they couldn't fix it because of the um, they would have to put it back on the wheel and air it out and and um, figure out where the hole was or whatever but um another another person came and is like you know what we'll, we'll just fix it that way um if you do need to mount it on we don't have to worry about fixing it then so um they had to remove part of the foam um where the the nail was um at and so i asked if this is gonna affect um the quality of the tire or the ride quality he said no um, if if we remove the entire foam then yes so um yeah, but the foam is, is mainly for the uh, road noise uh, to, to improve the road, road noise, to reduce the road noise. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I, I took the rest of the day off, um, but we're going we're gonna to go back to that area and um, take some pictures and uh, video to share with you. Um, and also to file with the city and Caltrans to see if we can get reimbursed for uh, any of this expense. So hopefully, hopefully um, we could do something about it. Okay, so I am in beautiful San Bernardino, or as the tourists call it, San Bernardino. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I found a pothole. Uh, hopefully I don't get ran over, but yeah, it's right here. Dude, this thing is deep. Right there, I'll put my size 10 shoe. See, and it's deep. 
and this is what came off of it someone had moved it to the side so that was part of it there and i guess when i ran over it it kicked it up but it damaged the tire man that <laughs> let me put my shoe just to give you a size perspective look at that shoe <laughs> oh my goodness yeah be safe out there. The prices that I was able to gather before getting the tire replaced. So the tire shop that I went to take my Model Y to to get the wheels and tires uh, swapped, uh, they wanted three hundred fifteen dollars per tire, um, but I don't believe they offer road hazard. So we could have saved um, about twenty dollars per tire, but Abby just prefers to go with America's Tires. Um, so America's tire, it's 334 per tire. Um, this doesn't include the mounting and everything. Um, and then Tesla wants $450 for installation and mounting and all that stuff, um, plus tax. So the price difference between Tesla and America's tires is uh, just about $100. But here's the breakdown of what America's tires uh, charged me. So $334 for each tire. $24 to mount, balance, and install, and then $49.88 for like the road hazard certificates and all that. Uh, then there's like these miscellaneous fees from the state where it's like tire fee, waste fee, um, all that kind of stuff. Um, and then $53.25 each for road hazards for the existing front tires because I wanted them on the front ones as well. Um, I'll put the, the receipt on the screen um, but the total is about $980.50. I did keep the passenger, the rear passenger tire as a spare. So if anything were to happen in the future, at least for the, the rear uh, passenger side, then I have a spare. I think I might be able to put that on the driver's side as well, but they are asynchronous tires. Now the tires only have about 5,200 miles on it and I didn't need to replace both, but I usually replace both and I know 5,200 miles isn't that much, but for whatever reason, I have this weird like <laughs> semi OCD. It's not full, it's not full OCD, but for whatever reason, it, it, it bugs me. It, it'll, it'll bug me knowing that one tire has about 5200 miles of use on it. I, I don't know is this an ocd thing again it's like semi it's not like full-blown whatever but um it, it would bother me it would bother me um, i do plan to file with the city or caltrans or whoever i need to file to um to at least inform them of that pothole and hopefully to try to get reimbursed uh for at least the the one tire that um i had replaced that the damage was caused by that pothole if you're ever wondering whether or not you could take your tesla to a non-tesla shop for tires the answer is yes uh, you don't have to always take your tesla to the dealership um, save some money you could go to any reputable tire shop um, they'll, they'll work on it some tire shops are going to say they're not going to work on it but just find another one um, as far as like tire replacements and stuff, save some money, go, go, go to those tire shops. I mean, the only thing special, really special is the, uh, the foam inside, which reduces, uh, road noise, but you don't really need them. I think, uh, when I had my model three, I went through a set of tires and the next set of tires, I, I didn't get the foam in them. And I think I saved like $15 per tire. So the, the, the foam is extra. So depending on where you buy it, it may depend on how much uh more you would have to pay so if the road noise the reduction of road noise is important to you then go with the ones that have the uh, the foam inside the tire we've been getting a lot more rain lately so please be careful out there and do know that there's gonna be a lot more road damage potholes and everything so just just stay safe out there uh, i could have been worse um but i am gonna be taking the model x to service for uh different uh, reasons different service stuff <laughs> um, so stay tuned for that video now i recently did a demo drive for the rivian r1t if you haven't checked that out please go check it out i had a great time 
And if you like this video, please like. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. We are getting close to 1,000 subscribers. So thank you very much for the support and your time. And I'll see you on the next video.